Welcome back, sports gamers. It's to natural. Today we saw boxing game history. At least that's what Todd Grisham said about today's esports boxing club roster reveal. Seal City Interactive hosted its second fighter announcement show today, which featured over 40 new fighters coming to the ESBC roster. Among the fighters joining esports boxing club are living legends of boxing, crossover fighters, and some of the toughest women's boxers in the world. He was pretty excited to announce that Esports Boxing Club will feature a women's division for the first time ever in a video game. Is it really though? I mean, there are boxing games that feature women, for example, Knockout Kings 2001 featured a handful, including Mita St. John. On the other hand, neither Knockout Kings nor the Fight Night series feature a full women's division, so he actually looks to be on point there. From today's show, you can say that 100% ESBC is not skipping on the quality of this women's roster. He started by announcing undefeated sensation Clarissa Shields. Following Shields were undisputed welterweight champion Jessica McCaskill and the first female undisputed champion Cecilia Brakus. The women's roster is currently eclipsed in size by the men's. However, you can tell they seem to be committed to keeping the quality up there with the men's. I mean, the ones already announced Heather Hardy, uh, Terry Harper, and even they threw in Cyborg in there from UFC there. Um, they got a pretty uh, nice set uh, on, on the women's rosters there. No pun intended. So already we've got a good look at some of the great le legends uh, that are coming to Esports Boxing Club. But today's show, Focus on the legends of the sport who are still with us, the living legends. A short list of new legends includes Ray Boom Boom Mancini, who Grisham refers to as having perhaps the best nickname in boxing, and I, he gotta agree with him there. Uh, joining Mancini was Vinny Panzienza, Frank Bruno, which is a huge one, Marco Barrera, Eric Morales. Um, I like the living legends list. I mean, this roster just keeps building out bigger and bigger, and they added a lot of quality fighters on there. So in the first announcement show, he uh, Grisham talked about the inclusion of the world's strongest man, Eddie Hall, and on you can tell on the games of uh, FAQ, Still City mentions that they're open to more crossover fighters. So today we got more. Joining the list of other hard-hitting women in MMAs is Chris Cyborg, as I said previously. They got some kick kickboxers and world-known fighters like uh, Badir Hari, Florian Marku, Cedric Dumbi, who also will be joining the roster. Adding MMA fighters to the cast of boxers is yet another ESBC ambition, but how will they make them feel versus classic boxers? I mean, I'm so curious how the ratings are gonna play out. Obviously, th most of these people are, are, they're great fighters in their own realm, but you know, can they compare a stack up to a real full-time boxer? I mean, it's interesting to see if they're gonna have separate modes for this, or just gonna throw them in there and maybe just, you know, you take that ratings hit. So, so We'll see once the game uh, gets close to release. So he also announced a handful of the trainers who will be training your fighter in Esports Boxing Club. Trainer of the year, Eddie Reynoso is the headliner. Rising star, Buddy McGirt joins Reynoso along with three additional tra uh, trainers. i uh, have them all there for you guys to uh, check the list there. And a full list of current boxers have there. I mean, they got a lot of, lot of top boxers in the game and uh, the roster just building out. I mean, it's definitely going to be like 100 plus once they're done. I think they have another, another announcement show coming after this one. So the list just keep growing bigger and bigger. And the more momentum the game gets, uh, a lot of people in the comments I saw, they were talking about uh, they want to get some other non-boxers, you know, the Paul brothers, or they want to get Nate Robinson, someone said. I've seen you guys asking for that. So let me know what you guys think. Like, do you want to see those type of non-professional boxers in the game or have like a more fun arcade type mode and i i think it'll be a good thing for the purists they won't like anything like, like that of course i understand but i think they it'll it'll bring in the masses the everyday the average player which will help the game grow so i would love to see them include those type of boxers in the world maybe in a, a, as well and maybe in a separate arcade type pick up and play fun mode not for the hardcore guys so um list of boxes there on the screen uh so esports box club releases later this year on the pc through steam early access the game is slated to release on old gen first with the ps5 and xbox series x coming soon after i know people always ask this i put this in every single video and people still ask in the comments when is it coming out we don't have a hard uh a hard deadline there we don't have a hard release date but it will be out soon on early access so let me know you guys thoughts on all the boxes that are released today and some of the non-boxers kicks biters legend living legends trainers let me know your thoughts on all these additions in the comments below.
If you appreciate our content here at SGO, like this video and subscribe now for more news, tips, reviews, and gameplay from all of your favorite sports games. Now, if you want to take your game to the next level with insider news, free games, and access to our private chat, join our Patreon in the link below and subscribe to SGO Insider today.